What's up, nerds? Here at NX, you know we love monorepos. We like putting multiple projects together in one repo so that we can see the connections between them. But that advantage kind of ends at the boundaries of your repo, right? Like if you have to reach out to another repo for a package, then you can't see that connection anymore. But what if you could have that same great monorepo experience of seeing connections between projects and being able to centrally manage consistency across all the repos in your organization. Well, that's exactly why we've built a new suite of tools called Polygraph. And listen, I know every time I come on here, I'm like, this is the biggest launch ever. But this is like the biggest launch ever. It's going to be huge. You're going to love it. So what are we talking about here? Okay, so let's say that you have an NX workspace. You have a mono repo, And you're really happy with the experience because why wouldn't you be? It's a great tool. You're able to see connections between projects. You're able to manage consistency and have it all in one place. But it's unrealistic to have your entire organization to collapse down into one repository like that. Places like Google and Facebook might do that, but you're not Google and you're definitely not Facebook. But you can still benefit from collapsing some applications with their related libraries into a single mono repo. But you still wind up with multiple repos across your entire organization. And this is completely normal. There's a lot of really good reasons for keeping multiple repos across your organization. So for example, you might have one mono repo that manages your application and the libraries that are associated with it. And you might have a separate repo that manages your design system. And this makes a lot of sense because different teams manage those things and the design system might need to be depended on by other applications in addition to your own. And it's pretty easy to keep this in your head that the application depends on the design system. And both of these repos are managed with NX, so you're having a good time. You're able to manage the consistency between the two systems well enough. But you have a lot more applications than this, right? Like you have your legacy application that doesn't use NX and is written in a completely different framework. And you have an auth client library over here. And this is still okay. You're doing all right. You can remember that the application depends on the design system and the auth client, but the legacy system only depends on the auth client. So a graph of this size is pretty easy for you to manage manually. But you know there's even more applications than this. And there might even be more than one design system. And we haven't even brought up up the idea of having a backend and it's cute that I say a backend because you definitely have multiple backends as well different microservices and different repos managed by different teams and this is just going to continue to grow through your organization as you add more projects and more teams and more features and this is quickly just becoming unmanageable the idea of actually keeping track of all the relationships between these different repos is impossible. And so you end up with very little observability into your repos, understanding what the impact of a change might be, and you've given up all hope of being able to manage consistency without pulling together spreadsheets to actually track what everybody is doing. And what we want to do is replace this uncertainty with Polygraph. So what is Polygraph? Well, Polygraph is a suite of tools that right now consists of three different elements, but it's going to grow over time. And these first elements are the workspace graph, which analyzes those project relationships between different repos, conformance, which allows you to write rules to enforce consistency across all the repos in your organization, whether they use NX or not, and finally custom workflows, which allows you to run scheduled tasks to automate things like conformance enforcement and data collection. Let's take a closer look at the tools themselves. Here I'm logged into NX Cloud and I have a organization that has five different repos for now. Let's take a look at what the workspace graph gives us for an organization like this. So the first thing that the workspace graph gives us is an overview of our entire organization. We can see the repos that we have and the relationships between them. Let's get these few out of the way so that we can focus on the relationship between the web app and the design system. So first, if I were to expand everything inside of this web app, we can see the dependency graph of everything that's going on inside of this repo. And right next to it, we can also see everything that's happening inside of the design system repo, which is also managed by NX. 
So we can see that our feature login library is depending on something very specific inside of the design system, which is the UI buttons library. So with just a few clicks, we're able to quickly understand the relationship between projects in our organization. So this visibility is gonna help you do things like understanding impact before you make changes. You're gonna be able to make informed decisions about refactoring, migrations, and new feature development. And it's gonna improve team coordination by giving teams a map of where they exist within the organization and what impact their changes might have. The other advantage that we really like about Mono Repos is the ability to centrally manage things like configurations so that we can keep our projects consistent with one another. And conformance rules allow you to take that to every repo in your organization. Conformance allows you to write language agnostic rules to apply across workspaces. Now, previously, you've been able to write these conformance rules for your own repo, but Conformance takes this a step further by allowing you to upload them to NX Cloud. Through this, you can now apply these conformance rules across workspaces in your organization. Let's take a look at how it works. All right, we're back in our NX Cloud organization. Let's check out conformance. So what we can see here is that we've already published an ensure dependency version rule and it's been applied across all of our workspaces. And very quickly, we are able to see which workspaces might be in violation of this rule and which ones aren't. Because it's been published, I can run it either locally or on CI to see the results of the check. And because this check is pulling down from NX Cloud rather than being configured on a repo by repo basis, you can enforce these rules very, very quickly by publishing them to NX Cloud without having to make local changes to the repos themselves. Running these rules across your organization will help with things like security vulnerability management. You can run an NPM audit, for example, to make sure that you're not running any vulnerable packages. It can help with dependency management, making sure that you're actually running the same version of a particular package across your organization. And it can help with tool standardization, making sure that repos have the agreed upon standard tools that your organization uses. Finally, custom workflows allow you to run scheduled tasks across workspaces in your organization outside of CI. Now, why is that important? Let's take a look. In my organization, I'm going to custom workflows. Here I have two custom workflows defined. One for polygraph, which collects dependency graph information from each workspace, and conformance, which runs the conformance rules on that workspace. I'm able to run these tasks not just on a scheduled basis, but also on an as-needed basis. Not only can these tasks be run without changes to CI, they can be run without installing NX into a workspace. This is something that we're calling metadata only workspaces. If we take a look at our API gateway repo here, we can see that this is a metadata only workspace. This is a workspace that doesn't have NX installed in it. However, because of the power of polygraph, we're able to do things like see API gateway inside of our workspace graph, but also see the results of conformance rules being run on that repo. And this allows us to apply standards to any repo in our organization, even legacy code bases that couldn't easily be migrated to an NX workspace. It also ensures that we can run things like dependency audits, security scans, and compliance checks on a regular basis. So that's Polygraph bringing the power of NX workspaces to every repo in your organization. Workspace Graph shows connections between projects in your organization. Conformance drives consistency across all of your repos. And custom workflows allow for scheduled tasks that run across any repo in your organization, whether it uses NX or not. And this is just the start of Polygraph. Our self-healing CI tool was already built on top of custom workflows, so we have a lot of stuff coming that we're really excited about. This launches today for all our NX Enterprise customers. If you're not already an NX Enterprise customer, check out the contact details below to get in touch to get started. I said it at the top, but this is one of our biggest releases. We're really excited about this. This is going to revolutionize organizational management by bringing the power of the Mono Repo to your entire organization. The Polygraph toolset is going to allow platform teams to be even more impactful than they ever were before. What you need to be able to manage relationships between code and enforce standards are now all in one place. Make sure you get in touch with us to become an NX Enterprise customer and watch this space for even more details about Polygraph.